How do ideas spread? This is a question answered by Dr Everett Rogers in one of the most influential social science books of all time. Rogers initially studied how farmers in Iowa adopted new ideas, examining a wide range of studies about how new ideas and technology diffuse through society, going back to the work of Gabriel Tard in 1890. Rogers book was called The Diffusion of Innovations. In the diffusion of innovations, we see that the level of adoption rises through time, growing slowly at first, then rising fast. And finally, the last levels of adoption take a long time to achieve. Rogers identified five stages in the adoption process. One, knowledge of the idea, practice or technology that is perceived as new. Second, persuasion by external sources through different communication channels. Third, the decision to reject or adopt the idea. Fourth, the implementation of the new idea or practice if there is a decision to adopt. And fifth, confirmation that the adopter will continue to make use of the innovation. Today, Rogers is most commonly known for his astute coinage of terms for adopters at different stages of the life cycle of an idea. In particular, his terms have been widely applied to the adoption of technology, and the term early adopters is frequently used in marketing circles. The first thing to note is that the very first adopters, the innovators, are rarely influential in driving adoption of others. They are often seen as outsiders. In modern technology adoption terms, they're known as geeks. They want novelty and so have little influence. Innovators do, however, provide a first test of the idea. And they can be more tolerant of minor failures, offering you a way to refine and build momentum around an idea. These are the enthusiasts who want a breakthrough. It is the early adopters who are highly influential. They are far more socially connected and respected than the geeks or innovators. Unlike them, they readily become opinion leaders and may well include your apex stakeholders. The early and late majority are so-called for their impact on adoption rates. By the time that the early majority have adopted an innovation, it has a critical mass of support. The early or late majority are so called for their impact on adoption rates. By the time the early majority have adopted an innovation, it has a critical mass of support, 50% of the population. The early majority are sometimes known as pragmatists who want a improvement, whilst the late majority are sometimes known as conservatives. What they want to focus on is security. The laggards are the slowest adopters, who may never fully embrace the innovation, but by then they are at worst a vocal minority of low influence resistors and at best will display a silent resignation towards innovation. These are sceptics and they are sometimes willfully blind. An interesting debate amongst historians is the balance of influence over major events between the general currents of history and the impact of key individuals. Rogers' work suggests that, in the context of innovations, whilst opinion leaders can have a big impact on events, change is often well underway by the time that they engage with events. 